YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the top picks in cryptocurrency. And guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Now, I did want to talk about one coin that we have been talking about for the past now a uh, couple weeks, maybe even past couple months now. It's Saitama. Um, it's a coin that's performing actually very well right now during this whole Bitcoin consolidation. And that's kind of what we predicted. We predicted that some of these dog coins will do better than other dog coins. And we would be able to gauge um, where the demand is going for this next uh, Bitcoin pump. If Bitcoin does decide to pump and SHIB does decide to pump where this demand is going to go. And guys, in my opinion, the demand is just trending in the favor of Saitama right now. Uh, nice, beautiful cup and handle starting to play out here uh, before Bitcoin went on its correction. We were doing very well. Um, as you guys could see, still up 8%, the 24 hour volume up 36%, whereas Shibs is down like 36%. Um, the market cap sitting at $2.3 billion. This is still very cheap coin right now, guys, and it's listed on some pretty decent size exchanges. Um, they're listed on Gate.io. They're listed on, uh, you know, SushiSwap. You can always get them on Uniswap, like most ERC-20 tokens. They're available even on ShibaSwap and Hotbit as well. Hotbit's not really a website that I like that much, but uh, in my opinion, these are, these are some pretty big sites. I know Gate.io is actually in the top 10, so this is actually a really big listing right here. But in my opinion, we could probably see Saitama listed on more exchanges in 2022 just because what do exchanges look for in cryptocurrencies? They look for volume. They want to know that people are buying the token because the more money that goes on to their exchange, the more money will go into other projects as well, and the more money which will go in their pocket from transaction fees. So that's what uh, these big exchanges look for. That's how we were early on SHIB. Uh, we saw it listing on a lot of exchanges. We saw the volume looking really nice with it. And uh, it was just kind of like a no brainer that uh, they would be listing on really big exchanges. And then as soon as Binance got their hands on SHIB, the price really took off in a big way. And uh, after that, a lot of people were really regretting not getting in. But again, the time to get in, guys, is before these coins list on things like Binance, before they list on things like crypto.com. You know, now you look at SHIB, it's listed everywhere. So, uh, we still have a chance, in my opinion, to probably be early on Saitama. Uh, I bet you wish that you would have gotten a SHIB when that was at a $2.3 billion market cap because now I think it's sitting over 20 at the time of the video. Could be wrong. Could be more. Could be less. Not quite sure. Um, but in my opinion, Saitama is a project that is worth definitely taking a look at. This thing still has 173,000 people that have it added on their watch list. And... Uh, you know, it has a really bullish community. I mean, I see this community all over Twitter, um, as well as they just have a huge Twitter following in general. So um, I, I like the project. I like the people behind the project. I know that they just finished their Surtech audit for their Saitama Mask, which is their uh, mobile app that they're going to have. So I'm expecting big things out of this coin for 2022 we'll see how they perform i know they have uh some nfts coming out as well for 2022 which i'm really excited about i know you guys already see nfts are really blowing up in a big way with things like board ape yacht club now reaching like a 53 eth floor which is absolutely crazy i actually had an opportunity to get in on that i actually had an opportunity to, to get in on the mutants and i didn't get either one caking myself but guys, that's the thing, you know, if you if you don't get in when people are not sure if they see uh, the opportunity behind the project, then you might end up finding yourself getting in later and kicking yourself. And that's what's happening to a lot of people, not only in NFTs, but in cryptocurrency. And in my opinion, it's going to happen again, guys. In 2022, I do see Bitcoin going higher. I see a lot of these projects uh, that have been read for uh past couple months even are probably going to make a big retracement and the people that were able to be patient are going to be rewarded for their patience in my opinion again it's just a companion opinion uh we can break bearish in bitcoin it can create that head and shoulders pattern that we talked about uh last week too and you know we could see some big sell-off action in the cryptocurrency market but in my opinion guys right now where we're at at the 29th i'm not afraid at all uh, i'm accumulating these dips in my opinion uh i think See, Tom is going to have some more upside um, and it's not a bad accumulation zone right now. And uh, that's just genuinely what I think. But 
again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just your homie, Crypto J. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And also, guys, if you want to come trade with your boy, Crypto J, all you got to do is follow me on IG at JTalksCrypto. Shoot me a DM. Let me know you want to trade in my private telegram. And I pick 100 people out of each video to come trade with your boy, Crypto J, and my team of six and seven figure cryptocurrency holders. So if you guys want to be a part of that group, it is a great resource to have because you're going to trade better as a team than you will by yourself. So think about that. Follow me on IG, follow me on YouTube, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.